right? <laughs> Welcome back to TV8. Good morning, Vale. I'm your host, Liz, and I told you we had some feel-good news for you guys. Well, the two most feel-good ladies in our community are here with me today, Terry Reichert and Sue Wallen-Brown, and who's their little friend? Gracie Lou Brown. Gracie Lou Brown. She's 15 years old, and she came to hang out with us to talk about empty bowls. This is something you guys have been doing for several years now. 16. Oh, wow. Yes. Really? That's almost as long as Gracie Lou's <laughs> been alive. <laughs> this is really cool because you guys really give back to the community with this. We're helping to end hunger in our community and so many other wonderful things that you all do. So now Empty Bowls is tomorrow night. And if anybody here is new to the Valley visiting or maybe hasn't experienced the Empty Bowls, let's hear all about it. Sure, we are welcoming the community over to Battle Mountain High School cafeteria mm -hmm. at 12 noon until 1.30 for nice. lunch. Uh, we have tickets available for sale at the door for $25, and that ticket gets you a beautiful pottery bowl made by a local artisan, Ooh, nice. and uh, soup and dessert and, wa and a water for drink. It's a, it's a simple lunch to help us remember that hunger in our community is something we need to remember and um, the proceeds of the event stoke the fuel the the food pantry over at the Salvation Army. That's really wonderful. I love the food pantry over there. You guys do an amazing job and can anybody donate to this cause? Is it too late because it's tomorrow? Come on with your wallet Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah purchase a ticket. The red kettles will be there so that you can put money or checks into right. the red kettles. There'll be a wonderful silent auction. So many great things. Oh nice. So there's a number of ways to donate. See I think that's wonderful. Everybody can come out and enjoy. Do you know what kind of soups we're gonna have? Oh yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Sweet basil has a black bean Ugh, soup with all nice. kinds of yummy things going on top of that. Yeah. Uh, Splendido has some potato leek. Uh, we have, uh, I talked to Chef at Pickled Pantry in, mm -hmm. um, in Eagle last night and he's doing a Tuscan vegetable with sausage. I didn't even know they had soup yeah. over there. Grand Avenue Grill is coming uh, and they are heading up our kitchen with Chris Derone. Uh, so uh, the band is back handling the kitchen and they're bringing <laughs> a yummy soup as well. Uh, mm. potato bacon. I'm hungry now. Yes, so so many. That's incredible. So the the idea that so you have really great restaurants that are pitching in and the idea that they give back to the community, even they could be the high end restaurant, it doesn't matter, they're giving mm. back and that's super important. What do you expect for our turnout tomorrow? We'd like to see 250 people, 300 Let's people, do 500 it. people, we'll take you. No yes. soup for you if you don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's a wonderful soup kitchen, yes. but by all the most gourmet restaurants. I know, that's what I think is really cool, you know, you're not just getting any, like Campbell's, you're actually <laughs> getting chef-made soups from some of our greatest restaurants in our town. Another fun thing, a fun fact mm -hmm. that we've been doing for since we started is our public safety people, the firefighters, mm -hmm. the police, the sheriffs, they all are servers. They serve no the soup. No way. That is so precious. All our first responders are serving. Yes. That's amazing. I can't even believe that. That's really incredible. And I can't believe how many years, 16 years. I know you've both been in our county for so long, so I'm really proud to have you guys here. And what else can we talk about that we can get people excited about as far as, well, the empty bowls, we have that on, but I mean, is there anything else going on that you guys want to talk about? Well, we do have a golf tournament on the 17th of September. Nice. And that'll be at Cordillera Valley Club. And Ooh, she's she. On our website and our Facebook page, there should be more info about all the events. But tomorrow, I'm really excited about it. Yeah. And Liz, I've got to tell you, our numbers are way up. We can nice. get over 90 families in one day coming for food, and that's you know, kind of a record high for us. That's kind it's of sad, actually. When you said numbers are up, I thought you meant for attendance for tomorrow, but now I realize what you're saying. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. I mean, we have such a diverse, mm -hmm. uh, what do you say? I don't know, how, you know, in our community, it's so diverse with, with the income factor and the amount of people that you have to feed in your household and everything else. And we have to remember that, you know, there's so many different people and families here and some need some help and that's why we have you guys here because number one it's not just a soup kitchen all year round you guys are always doing wonderful things for our community i mean the salvation army and everything that you all do it's just incredible it really really is and we can't 
thank you guys enough and show our appreciation enough. And I just want to stress how important it is to donate and give and take care of everybody in our community because everybody pitches in some way or another. It doesn't always have to be monetarily. Yes, this event specifically is a, it seems like an easy yes for people. We approach the restaurants and the potters and, and business partners around town and it just seems like an easy yes. And I know that um, the group feels that way about the, the golf tournament. There's so much support. Yes. And you know, that's one way that we can support the pantry. You can, as an individual, stop by the pantry with shelf items or, or produce or, or dairy, anything that you want to donate. But these proceeds allow them to have some purchasing power and, and, and stock those shelves. And we can always use volunteers. Our pantry oh. is pretty much run by our wonderful volunteers. Oh, that's so amazing. Now, I do have a question for you, because there used to be, was there a food pantry in Edwards as well? Is that still? Small. Very it's small. small. Okay, so I know people can go there on a Tuesday or something like oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. The yeah. community market right. does have a food pantry, and they have one in Gypsum as well. They do. Okay, so, that's what I wanted to spread the word about yep. in case anybody wasn't aware of oh, that. Oh, yes. They do a wonderful job also. Yes, they're really, really great. So, I mean, between the Vail Valley Charitable Fund and the, you know, I mean, and the Salvation Army of Vail and everything else, we really do have it covered. Now we just have to get the volunteers and the people with a couple of bucks to throw at everybody <laughs> because there's so much to go around. I mean, really, seriously. And I mean, even a couple of dollars a little bit goes a long way with a donation. And, and another thing that's beautiful about this event is we make it affordable for locals. Mm -hmm. oh. Almost everybody can afford $25 to attend. Mm -hmm. And you're getting high-end soup, darlings. It's not like you're getting, like I said, a soup in a box or ramen noodles. You're getting really good, classy, elegant food, and you get to enjoy being with your neighbors and seeing everybody that maybe you haven't seen in a while. So it's kind of like a social event as well very for much. everybody. Yes, very much. You know, because a lot of times in the summer, we're all spread out. In the winter, everybody sees each other. You just don't know who you're seeing because you have a helmet on your head. But here, <laughs> we get true. to see each other's smiling faces and bright eyes and happiness and something really good and feel good for the community. And I just can't believe it's been 16 years. That's amazing. And you two work really well together, I can just tell. Yes, we adore each other. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you, how long have you been with a, a ch charitable organization again? Five years. Five yeah. years. I knew it was yeah. new, but I know that you have just taken the reins oh, and you. ran with it. You've been oh, amazing. You. Just such a great addition to our community. And you've been here forever. 41 and a half years yes. with Salvation Army. Wow. Almost 51 in the community. You're just a beautiful human. I must have moved here when I was 12. You I must have, so. yeah. Yeah, Definitely. because she's just, you know, 30 years old. I think it's <laughs> wonderful. It's amazing what you've been doing for all this time. <laughs> So you guys got to get down to Empty Bowls. Now it's over at the Battle Mountain High School. Yes. And I know we spoke about it, but let's talk about the hours and what people can expect. Just one more time in case somebody just tuned in. Thank you. Battle Mountain High School cafeteria, we are ready for you. Uh, come at 12 o'clock until about 1.30. Um, tickets are available at the door. There's still a few tickets available for sale over at the Salvation Army okay. office also. and. Um, we're really excited to show off this yummy food and I can't thank the potters enough that yeah. have helped us. Um, I have to say Willow Murphy and the CMC potters have been amazing. Oh. Dad Bolanfini has, has given a great donation. Dad Bolanfini. Yes, KK Pottery, Carbondale Clay Center, our neighbors, uh, over um, over there in, in Carbondale have given a wonderful donation. Wow. Get this, Max DeVito and the Battle Mountain High School art students. Oh um, my gosh. Yes, it's just been amazing. And I, and I um, also postcards pottery, yes. That's amazing, I can't yes. believe you can remember all of that. That's yes. pretty impressive. <laughs> and not only that, but I didn't even realize you probably have to have a lot of craftsmen because we do you the more people that show up the more bowls you need that's yes. really a wonderful magical experience and I remember last year we went and we got our bowl and I mean you, you leave with such a beautiful keepsake you can do anything with it but you can put it out as a something to look at you know what I mean mm -hmm. but I mean you leave with a keepsake but the best thing that you leave with is kindness and goodness in your heart and something to feel really good about because you've done something now somebody like me that runs around all day can't make it over there at noon and maybe mm -hmm. I can scrape by at 1.30. But let's say I wanted to still donate, but I can't make the soup bowl kitchen. Sure. Go on over to the Salvation Army Food 
pantry. There's right. a front desk there. Right they in would, Avon. Yes, in Avon. They would take a uh, cash or check donation from you, a uh, credit card. You can also call and, and do a donation via credit card. And on our website, there's Thank a you. place to donate. And that is the veil.salvationarmy.org. Vale. See, I had to have the experts say it because I knew I was going to mess that one up. <laughs> I can't thank you ladies enough for what you do for our community. There's a golf adventure coming up to the Salvation Army of Vail. Vale, and I know that you guys over at the Vail vale Valley Charitable Fund do so many other great things. I just love you ladies. And together, you're a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I can you. feel the power of her energy right here and right now. I'm super excited. Make sure you get on over to Empty Bowls. It's a wonderful thing to end hunger in our community. We really want to do something good for our community, and this is the way we can do it. So thank you so much, Sue Ellen Brown and Terry Reichert. Thank you. you ladies are just magical. And, of course, the sleeping baby over there. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have left. We should have left her in her bag, but she's super cute, and I had to bring her out. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you both here all the time, and really, we appreciate everything that you do for our community, and I know everybody else in our community is very grateful thank for you, both Liz. of you. Thank you, Liz. You're very welcome, Amazing. and thank you. Lots of love to both of you. This is TV8 Vale. Good morning, and we'll be right back with more.